If you're into cooking, you might spend most of your time baking and trying out some new menus in the kitchen. It is indeed fun and can help you blow off steam. Unfortunately, it will not be fun anymore if clutter takes over the space. And the bad news is your kitchen is prone to this issue. But do not worry, we've got your back. These 12 small kitchen appliance storage ideas and DIY will help you organize things better without costing you a small fortune. As always, SimFoam presents you with the list. Number 12. The Pullout Organizer Idea from At Welcome to the Woods Do you have any awkward space between the end of your cabinet and the wall? Do not waste any nook and cranny because they can be helpful and have a significant impact on your kitchen. So what should you do? It is easy. You can turn it into a functional storage space. First, you need to measure the opening gap between the cabinet and the wall. Then make a tray for the base. You will also need to install slides on both sides of the tray to pull it out easily. After that, make a frame with notches. Make sure that the frame has the same size as the tray. Next, glue down dowels or scrap wood to each notch. Then install drawer slides on both sides of the frame. Finally, screw it to the cabinet front. You can use this pull-out storage to store your baking sheets, butcher blocks, trays, pans, muffin tins, etc. Number 11 the DIY Canned Food Dispenser from Anna White. Canned food can be your savior when you race against time or do not feel like cooking any dish entailing complicated recipes. Thus, having them available in the pantry is a terrific idea. However, piling up canned food can take up a lot of space in your pantry. Even worse, you cannot access what is stored behind them. For this reason, keeping them separately in this canned food dispenser would be worth the effort. To make this canned food dispenser, you will need to attach the sides to the bottom and top pieces. Then, screw vertical dividers. Next, attach the back supports on the bottom and top. After that, attach the acrylic glass to the front. Make sure you leave a 3 and 3 quarters inch gap on the top to enable you to load the dispenser and the bottom to allow the canned food to be accessible. Number 10. The Pull-Out Kitchen Ladder by At Alex Dodman. This is another solution for the awkward space left untapped in your kitchen. To make this pull-out kitchen ladder, you need to measure the gap between your cabinet and wall. Then, cut the plywood to size to create shelves that fit snugly into the awkward space. After that, install wheels at the bottom for easy access and copper pipes as the railings that prevent your stuff from falling. Finally, screw another copper pipe on the front as the handlebar. Number 9. The Simpler Pull-Out Kitchen Ladder at Lauren Lady Pull-out kitchen shelves have always been an intelligent solution for any awkward space in your kitchen, including the 5-inch gap between the fridge and the wall. The previous pull-out shelves' ideas are stylish. However, they are somewhat complicated. Are you looking for a simpler yet practical one? You can try this one. You only need to get wooden boards that can fit snugly into your 5-inch gap. Then, cut them to size, sand, and stain the pieces thoroughly. After that, screw four wheels at the bottom. Next, install any handlebar of your choice and you are good to go. You can install a large wooden sheet at the back and dowels in front to make canned food and spices stay in place for peace of mind. Number 8. Before and After an Ugly Wall to Open Kitchen Storage Sometimes you do not feel like looking at your kitchen because it is a real eyesore. If it happens to you, maybe it is time for you to update your cooking space. The spot used to be exasperating with the tired wall. Now it looks impressive and is eminently functional. To carve out this look, you need to cover your wall with a thin layer of plywood. You will also need to wrap the chase with a 2x4 to make it sturdy. Then, paint the plywood gray for a modern look. 
Next, place a china hutch or any secondhand storage you can find for cheap. Make sure it is sturdy though. Then, install shelves above the cabinet. Finally, attach a pegboard next to the hutch for more storage. Number 7. How to hang solid wood floating shelves for your trickier corner area. Do you want to add a bit of a rustic look to your kitchen? Try these floating shelves. You will need some solid wood to make these floating shelves and cut them to size. Next, find the studs on your wall. After that, drill into them with a quarter inch drill bit and then switch to the half inch bit. Make sure you drill through the centers of the studs. Next, you can begin to install the brackets. Then, drill the holes in the wood that you will use for the brackets. Make sure they are straight, level, and accurate. Then, you need to build a jig, a sleeve that will hold your wood straight. Next, find the center of the shelf thickness-wise. After that, drill a hole in the jig you have made at this point. Then, drill the holes in the back of the shelf wood. Next, slide the wood onto the brackets to see whether it is level. Once it is level, take the shelf back to sand it and apply any finish you want. Finally, install the shelf in place. Number 6. Some of the finest ideas on how to organize kitchen drawers by Hal Strom Home. Sometimes you do not need to make new shelves or cabinets to organize your kitchen. Decluttering and reorganizing what you already have can be the best way to tidy up the space while salting away some money. First, you have to take everything out to start fresh. Then, figure out what needs to go where. It is essential to know where certain items should go because it can help save you time. As a good rule of thumb, you had better place the items you use on a regular basis in the drawers that you can easily access. Then, consider investing in drawer dividers and plastic containers to store small items. Number 5. The Fold-Down Extra Table Idea the countertop is essential because it can help you prepare the meal comfortably. However, you need more counter space to work sometimes. Unfortunately, you cannot cram a kitchen island because of the small room. Do not worry, you can expand your countertop without taking up more space by making this foldable table. You only need to get a butcher block, then cut it to size and attach it to heavy duty folding shelf brackets. Relevant details Step 1. Cut the wood to size Step 2. Drill holes in the wood and divide it into two pieces Step 3. Attach the brackets to the wood and then measure where your screws are going through to mark them with a pencil Step 4. Screw the brackets on both wooden boards and lay the butcher block on top Step 5. Install some screws, turn over your foldable table, and enjoy! Step 6. Once you are done, attach the wood with a screw to the underside of the table so that it does not fall out. Number 4. The Cube Shelves Organizing kitchen appliances do not have to be arduous. You can simply invest in cubbies to perform this task. If you cannot find the cubbies that suit your need well, you can make them yourself. Just make sure each cube is big enough to accommodate the kitchen appliance you use on a daily basis. To build your cube shelves, your detailed instructions are Step 1. First, you will need to make your boards. It would be best to consider using melamine boards as they are thicker and more durable. Step 2. Measure the dimensions of the shelf. Step 3. Cut your board with a milter saw and use a finishing nailer to attach it to the wall. Step 4. Attach some screws on both sides of the board and ensure they are level. Step 5. Install a groove into each cube side and screw them on with screws. Step 6. Get some wood screws and screw the cubes to the shelf. Number 3. Optimize your limited kitchen interior design and hide your dining table.
This dining table will allow you to enjoy your meal comfortably without worrying about limited space because you can hide it away when you are not using it. Are you wondering how it happens? This table features a table rotation mechanism that allows it to swivel back and forth. This way, you can have a proper dining area while keeping valuable space. Relevant Instructions Number 1. Cut the wood to the length you want. Number 2. Join two wood pieces together with a bit of plywood with the same dimensions. Number 3. Attach some brackets and then support to the underside of your table to make it sturdy. Number 4. Get some recessed screws and screw them into your tabletop. Then measure how deep they are going through with holes so that you can drill more holes on the other side of your tabletop. Number 5. Attach your table to the brackets and then flip over your table. Number 6. Install some brackets onto the underside of the table where you have drilled more holes to make it sturdy. Number 7. Again, attach the table to your brackets and flip over your table. This time, you will notice that there are only a few holes on the underside of your table. Number 2. Give your kitchen cabinet some piano hinges and a magnet. Ideas from At Ike Interior and The Neat Nest Co. If space is limited, every inch counts. Therefore, this DIY bifold door can be your safe bet. The most important thing is you can make it yourself with piano hinges that allow you to fold the door in half and a magnet on top that holds the door. Or simply a Lazy Susan. Lazy Susan has always been an excellent storage solution. In fact, it can tackle the corner of your cabinet. You only need to assemble and install a Lazy Susan kit in the corner of your cabinet. Then, place the cabinet in front to hide the Lazy Susan. Before I finish this countdown, support the channel by pressing subscribe button under the video. Please keep us in your subscription tabs for more home and garden improvement ideas like this. And finally, let's close our countdown with... Lastly, number one, the pull-out shelf for the garage idea. Storing kitchen appliances in a cabinet may help you tackle clutter. However, you will find it hard to access the small one hidden at the back. To overcome this problem, you can install drawer slides to help you pull the shelf out for easy access. To replicate this project, your instructions are Step 1. Prepare a piece of plywood and use a router to cut it so that the size is identical to your cabinet. Step 2. Attach some brackets underneath your cabinet. Step 3. Flip over your cabinet and drill some holes at the bottom of your cabinet so that you can screw in your drawer slides. Step 4. Install some screws into the board and then attach it on the top of your drawer slides and flip over the electrical outlet. Step 5. All you need to do is place the drawer slides into your cabinet and they will hold the shelf in place firmly. That's it for now. Since you're still watching this video, Press the like button, comment it, or share it with anyone close to you on your favorite social media channel. Browse and follow the Symphone website for more awesome content related to home and decor ideas. Until we meet again, later, sometime in the future. Thanks for watching.